Carry A Hip Hop with the States going down here right now. We're at ATL Morrison Brown College. And I got T.I., I got my young man right here, James, the president of Morrison Brown College. So I want to ask you guys two questions. Actually, three for this young man, too. So what's so important about this partnership that you guys created with you and your tablets? And, and why do you think it, it's just another start of something else that can go on with so many young, so many young people that can't afford college or they get in college and have a hard time budgeting and getting funding from their parents? What, this is just the first step? This is just the first step, the first step of many. So our goal is to close that digital divide, make sure that every single person that is on any government program has not only access to good technology, good tablets, but we're going to try and find those partnerships to infuse additional things into them for you. So with our partnership with Morris Brown, I'm sorry, Sit, is just the first step to just... What's your name, young man? Yeah. Vernell Woods. I, I, get that. We gotta get, I'm glad you corrected Vernell Woods. I, I'm Vernell Woods. I'm the CEO. I'm the CEO of Moolah Wireless. So this is, I, I created it. I created the software. We got the licenses with AT&T. Okay, that's T -Mobile. enough shine for you. Let's talk about this. Yeah. Hey, 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 T.I., let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How, how when, you, when you heard about this, 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 old, this thing this young man was doing, how joyous did you feel about that young man and his, and his caliber to be so young? I mean, man, to be honest with you, I've known him for quite some time, and he's been, you know, expressing his ambition, but it was it was very aspirational. Like, over the years, like, yo, man, I, I created this uh, operating system, and he's, like, speaking German to me. I don't, you know, and it's going to be able to help people, and now we're going to get tablets, and, and then all the way through the years, and to him last week pulling up, with a U-Haul full of tablets, so I, it, it, it felt like his dreams coming into fruition. Like I could, I could, I could see the joy in his eyes from all of his hard work materializing before me. Uh, and and shortly thereafter, I get a call from my good brother, Dr. James, who uh, we've always been talking about, you know, doing things together. And and he's always, uh, you know, uh, first in line whenever we need anything from him. And he said, man, my students need some of them tablets. So I said, okay, well, let me be the bridge. And I, I connected these two guys, and he had the means, and he had the need. I was just the conduit. So that's why it's so important that you were born and raised in Atlanta and, and, and Georgia, and you see a brother here. So how does it feel like this is a collaboration? And knowing you was born here yeah. and see what Morrison Brown, the history of Morrison Brown, and you got this brother here just making change in this. This is, this is very important right now, very important. I mean, you ask me how I feel, the best analogy I could give you is when you're in a pool, how does it feel being wet? You can't tell, can you? You're just in it, right? So that's how I feel, man. You know what I'm saying? That's, but I, I'm honored and, and, and pleased to be able to have an impact, to be, to be of assistance, uh, and to be an asset to, 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 to the community, to this college, to this brother, and to these students. Now, the question goes to you, yes, sir. Mr. President. So, you're making a change in, in this whole, you know, just being a part of this, this, this whole thing and changing you with the school. Yes. What's your next uh, uh, trial with the youth, the next trial with the youth, and how do you get more people involved? Right now, what we're doing is scaling our academic programs and scaling our, the number of students here. In one summer, we went from a few students to over 200 students. So we anticipate growth every single semester here. We got four programs, business, psychology, music, and general studies. We're building a hotel here on the campus for our hospitality program. Students will get hands-on learning. We are the first and only HBCU in the state of Georgia with a degree in eSports. We got our eSports lab. We just built it downstairs. And so we just want to scale everything that we're doing here at Morris Brown College. And we are the most affordable HBCU in the city. So affordable. And the most affordable. My goal is that students graduate with little to no debt. So we are here to serve the community, and we just want to fully restore Morris Brown College. So you're creating more partnerships? Absolutely. How can I get involved? Hey, man, we can, we can talk about that offline. Right, right. Y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all y'all stay tuned. Make sure y'all keep in this hip-hop real estate. Please go see what these young, I'm saying all you young men are doing. That's right. They're the truth. Real talk. Hey, say what's happening, man? T.I.P., the Bankhead Ambassador King. Good, man. Letting you know right now you're watching hip-hop real estate. Love.